Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Sofern. Now this here is their new SP31 V3. Now the version I have here has the Luminous SST40 in cool white. Comes in this box. They wanted me to test and review it, so let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. Get one USB Type C charging cable, nice quality, and we got two O rings and one lanyard. Here's the user manual. Front and back, multi language. Let's go ahead and start here with this chart here. Sorry the print is so small but as you can see there it puts out 2,000 lumens on the highest output. Now if you need more time to read those go ahead and pause screen otherwise we're going to move along. This here is a reminder to remove the protection piece from the battery. There it is. Nice, compact, definitely great for everyday carry, or you can use it tactically as well. got a flat black finish on here side switch tail switch lanyard holes here and also I get this question a lot some lights don't have those you can use the clip to thread your lanyard on. Now you can remove this if you don't want it on there. It's got some flexibility there. I like these grooves on the body. Help you grip it. A little bit of heat sinking there on the head. Not much. Here's the charging port there. Style and design on this is nice. No issues. Sulfur and make some of the best budget friendly lights there are on the market. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the special optics. Behind that is the Luminous SST40 LED. And the machining and finish on this is nice. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, get this open. I'll show you the battery that it comes with. There's the protection piece there. You want to remove it. Battery is already in it. You do have a complete kit with this. 
The battery here is an 18650, 3000 milliamp. This is a 20 amp cell. I'm not too sure what's behind these anymore. They used to be the LG HE batteries and the LG HG2s, but uh, not too sure what they are anymore but should provide plenty of power for this light. Show you head of the light spring there. Well greased threads. Now you can't take off this here. I've tried to muscled it off so I don't know if they've glued it but there's a tail spring in there and uh, most of all you can use any 18650 battery in here because of the spring on the head so if you got extra on hand you can extend your adventure time with just swapping it out or you can charge it on the go it's up to you it's easier to just go ahead and uh, swap a battery out and carry extra with you. Now let's go through the UI. UI activating the light. I do have a battery level indicator there. This will blink red when it's critically low and it's not going to operate on the higher outputs so you want to swap it out or charge it at that time. Cool white. So we're just going to go through the light outputs here just by clicking it one time. Now if you do want to get special mode, you're going to press down and hold. We'll get you strobe. And that is a variable speed on the flash. And it is quite distracting. Click it one time, we'll go to SOS, and the light level has gone down quite a bit. Strobe is the full light output. Click it again, we'll get you beacon. Now if you do click it again, it'll go back to strobe. So we don't want to do that, so we're going to press down and hold. This does have memory mode, so if you put it on the highest output there, turn it off, turn it back on. We're going to go ahead and take a look here at the light level here, show you the beam. Centralized hot spot, got a lot of bleeding here around the edge, but that's a tapering spill. Not my favorite on flashlights, but they, they're, they'll do fine for most applications. Nice light output on that. Super easy to operate this. Now if you set it up here, you can actually set it up like a tactical light and just pressure switch that. Half press and hold. Pretty easy. Full press it to leave it on. Yeah. Law enforcement. Be fine with this light. And that's all there is to this light. Simple and easy to operate. My favorite go-to lights. Ones I grab the most often. Nice build quality on this, I'm not seeing any issues. Lightweight, feels rugged. It's got a nice look to it. Well, let's wait no further. Let's take this SP31 V3 outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Soper and SP31 V3. Go ahead and get started. Water spout, 38 feet. Making 65 feet there faintly. There's the 
beam on the fence, kind of give you an idea. Show the length here. Good range, even at this low of light output. Let's go to the next level. Spills come alive a little bit here. Just making the tree of life there 138 feet. Large hot spots, got some good range on it though. 65 feet there to that tree, even better. Fence line, tree line. Let's go ahead and go to the next level here on the Tree of Life. Spill area is not too bad. They're a little bit weak on this type of setup on the optics. making 238 feet there behind the tree of life. Now I do have a link below my video in the description box below where you can see my distances here in my testing area. Tree line, fence line. I can see it across the park there to those playgrounds. That's Impressive. Let's go to the next level. See it even better there. Second one's over there. Tree line, fence line. Kind of do a beam profile here. See if we 238 feet, even better there. It's got some good range on this beam. Very large hot spot. Got some distance. And it is faintly making that first palm tree. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on the camera. Making it way out there to those trees as well. Now we'll cycle down due to heat. Still making that playground over there though. Nice. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. This SP31 V3. Nice beam performance. It's got more range than it does spill area. A little bit weak, which is pretty much what you would expect for this type of optics. But if you're needing something that has some good, decent range at this size, super compact, this is something that will do well for most people. And most of all, these are budget friendly. Charge it on the go. You can use any 18... 650 battery in here protected or unprotected just make sure it's at least 10 amps or more if it's protected cell but flat top button top slightly raised tops you can run this light and that's a huge plus especially if you're carrying this on your side uh, most of all you can charge it on the go type c charging is a huge plus i keep these so if you do store the light, say like you keep it in your vehicle, put this on it, the battery's going to last a lot longer or manually lock out the light and uh, that will help as well. But I always save these, because uh, especially for an emergency bag, especially my little emergency um, first aid kits, I keep a little flashlight in there and make sure that I keep that little protection piece on the battery. Easy to operate this, and it's plenty bright for most applications. I think 800 lumens, it's going to cycle down to, and that's still a lot of lumens. And if, with this battery, you're going to get some decent run times as well. like the fact you can use it for everyday carry, or tactical if you wish. 
it's up to you. So if you're needing something for both type of applications, you've got it right here in this light. Okay, well I want to thank Sofern for sending me this SP31 V3 to review. Now remember this is a complete kit, comes with everything you need in this box. I will leave a link down below. That way you can get this. Also my special discount code will help you save some money on this kit. Just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these all new Sofern lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness.